Welcome everybody to a brand new video. Today I wanted to do something completely unrelated to gaming. I just wanted to give you guys an update on uh, a little friend of mine. And if you're wondering who it is, it's that person right there who's licking themselves on camera right now. Jesus, can you get a room please? But yeah, today I want to give you guys a little bit of an update on Cupcake, my cat, who I got last Christmas. And some of you guys might be wondering, hey, how is Cupcake? You know, we haven't really gotten much information about her ever since I got her. So in today's video, I kind of wanted to bring her to the camera and show you guys just how big she is now. Because if you guys remember when I first got her, oh my gosh, she's trying to get away. She's also a lot stronger. If you guys look at my hand, I don't want it to be too bright on camera. My hand is completely destroyed. She recently fucked my hand up. This little girl can do a lot of damage. There's a lot of times where she's... <laughs> She just put her paw in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know what sort of satisfaction she gets from that, sticking her paw in my mouth, but it's fucking disgusting. And uh, yeah, she does it very often because she tries to like push my, um, my, my face away whenever I try to get close to her. One thing I have noticed though is that she's a bit of a shoulder cat. She loves being on my shoulder. This is like her favorite place to sit because she feels comfortable. I get to squish her. And in case you didn't know, cats feel very comfortable whenever they're squished. For some reason, they just feel safe. So whenever she's on my shoulders, I can hold her here, I can squish her, and I can also give her a little bit of a rub, and she loves it, she loves this so much, I mean, giving her little rubs under the chin, I mean, she just can't get enough. Absolutely adorable, and we're coming up soon to having her for one full year, and it's crazy how big she got in that time, I mean, look at her, ah, she's gonna scratch at me. Right now, she wants out of my room, because I've been keeping her in here until I was gonna record this video, okay, she's gonna go on my chair, and she's going back on my bed, yep. Yeah. You can stay over there, that's fine. I give her the privilege of being on a famous YouTuber's video, and she doesn't even care. But yeah, health-wise, ever since we got her, we've just been feeding her a regular amount of food. She's not too fat, and she's not too skinny. She's actually just a perfect size. And uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind if she gained just a little bit of weight, but I think she's perfectly fine. She looks completely healthy. During all of this time that we've had her, though, we haven't actually gotten her neutered yet, and we would like to do that soon i don't know we keep saying that we're gonna do it like this weekend and next weekend and but we never actually get around to doing it unfortunately the reason i want to get her neutered is because i wouldn't mind being able to let her outside i live in an apartment and uh we do have a little bit of a garden section outside of my apartment um but i would love to be able to just go outside with her let her explore a little bit but the thing i'm scared of is that she's gonna find another cat She's gonna get fucked. And then we're gonna end up with little kittens. And I don't want to have to take care of more than one cat. I mean, we could give them to a shelter, but that just kind of sounds shitty to me. In case you guys are wondering what she does every single day, she just meows, she sleeps, she eats, and she shits. And that's pretty much it. I mean, she's a house cat. What do you expect? She finds herself in very weird places as well. Sometimes she'll go underneath my closet. Sometimes she will go under the sofas or under my mom's bed. I mean, uh, sometimes we'll find her in the bathroom as well. Just like going through all the junk in the bathroom. She's extremely curious and she's such a daredevil. I mean, all cats are daredevils, but Jesus, I cannot keep my window open in my room. Because if I keep my window open, she's just gonna sit right on the edge edge as if she's about to jump two stories down it's it's terrifying and i know that cats are extremely safe even from very high distances because one they're very careful and two even if they were to fall for some reason they can fall from extremely high places and be completely fine which i was very surprised to hear realistically i shouldn't be that scared for her because if she were to fall two stories she'd probably just land on her feet and she'd be fine she would probably just be meowing and waiting for me to get her back because there have been very very few times where i've actually taken her out of the house we got her some sort of vaccines and doing so we did have to take her outside of the house and i didn't take her in her little cage i just carried her and the entire time it just seemed like she was so scared she just did not want to come off of my shoulder she didn't want to get on the ground because the outside world is completely just unknown to her she doesn't want to be on the ground she has no idea what it's like the entire time she was just like gripping onto me and shaking because she just didn't want to go on the ground and I felt so bad but we had to get her vaccines and we did we also got some like pills that we had to give her to make sure that everything was going to be okay and this is basically just to prevent her from getting like majorly sick something that could really affect her health but 
yeah, we still need to get her neutered. Other things that she does, and this is included in eating, is she is like the best fly swatter ever. If a fly lands on a window and she can get to it, she's getting her hands on that fly and she's gonna kill it and she's gonna eat it. And at first, I was sort of like worried about this because I thought eating flies, that's surely not a good idea. I mean, isn't she gonna get sick or isn't there gonna be like some germs on the fly or something? Like, obviously you wouldn't eat a fly because you'd probably get sick. But then I did a quick Google search and it turns out that insects are completely fine for cats. They're predators. They don't get sick whenever they eat insects. In fact, they love it. I mean, it's a good source of food for them. So pretty much if there's like a house spider or if there's like a wasp or something or a fly that's annoying me, I'll help her get to it and she'll kill it and she'll eat it and yeah, no issues. Definitely the hardest thing for her to eat was a wasp. I saw her eat a wasp, man. That shit was crazy. She's eaten multiple spiders. I don't know how many flies. I mean, my apartment is pretty prone to flies, especially around the summer. Around the summertime, flies are a huge issue. I mean, they're all over the place. We constantly have to like fan them out of the apartment because once it gets warm, they're just fucking sitting around the house. However, for her, it's basically an all-you-can-eat buffet because when there's a shit ton of flies all over the place, she's just chasing them all day trying to eat them, and she gets a lot of them. She's such a fat bitch, and on top of that, all she does is just lay down somewhere and just sleep. Like, she doesn't do anything else. Right now, I think she's trying to fall asleep, but I'm in the room with her, so she can't because she's just on edge all the time. She's thinking that I'm gonna wake her up, which... You're so cute. I just love her so much. She's so chunky. She's so thick. I just, oh, I just want to squeeze her. She's so adorable. And I just love her. I mean, she's, uh, she's part of the family now. And every time I come home, she comes running to the door and, Oh, I just, I, my heart just goes out to her. I just love her so much. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. That is a little bit of a shorter video, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on Cupcake, tell you how she's doing, because some of you guys might be curious. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smack the like button. If you wanna stay up to date on my content, please be sure to subscribe. I'll have my last video in the corner. If you haven't checked that out already, definitely make sure to check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out. Hey, Cupcake, say bye to them. Bye.